All right, one quick one before we get to better to book it. Yep. The yep. Ohio sports betting numbers for January came out. They did. 30 cents of every dollar reported is promotional money. What a what a business. 30 cents of every dollar that was reported. So everybody went, holy shit, they had $210 million to handle. Uh, yeah. Can we slow the roll here a little bit on this? One As to where we are. Point one billion dollars in handle reported, right? Or whatever it was, yeah. yeah That's one point right, one yeah. billion. They I made in you. revenue two hundred and five million, reportedly. Right. But but if you take out the payouts, you take out the voids, you take out the promos, net revenue all of a sudden looks a whole lot different, does it not? Hold on. <laughs> Let me, get, let me get the glasses back on. Let me take a quick look at this. How, how do we? Oh, yeah. Um, wow. So for those of you that don't know how the promotional money works, you go into somebody's account and you go like this, bam, and you give them money. It's not real money. No. Nope. I don't know how it's reported as handle if it's not real money. Like this is a big thing that I think is an underreported thing in the industry. A huge problem that I think somebody has got to come to some sort of just resolution. I told you this in the past. We could start a consulting service where we just tell the truth and say, This business is one thing, and then other people are going to say it's another thing. Make sure you're getting the one thing that it is please taking bets and handling money. <laughs> That's what it is. If you want it to be something else, you can make it something else. That's fine. But, and again, like Derek said yesterday, not be smirching, you know, burying anyone's model, anyone's business model. No, business but plan. the reporting is what want. we're talking about. We're not talking about anyone. How the they're doing. We're just talking about how the numbers are getting reported because all we saw was Ohio's numbers are out. And as expected, they are monster. Really? They're not really monster. The numbers are decent, but it's nothing like, let's see where we are in a year. We're not going to oh. be at a billion dollars in handle in a yeah. year. No. A month. Not going to happen. No, not with so real money. We, no. can, we can keep giving them money and make it say whatever we want. It's not Malop. It's Monopoly at this point. We're just whatever we want to oh. pull up and whatever we want to put into an account, whatever Good bonus one. structure we want to come up with. Yeah. If your handle is, you know, a billion dollar handle minus 800 million in payout in payouts. Then yeah. the voided bets for whatever reason are at 20 million and mm. your promos is 320 how million. The, how the hell could you have so many voids? Like we used to we'd be in the book and, and try to avoid the void. Like I used to, I literally used to say that avoid the void, avoid the void. Mm -hmm. And you know, somebody would come up to your, remember the noid or avoid yeah. the noid. That's where it came from, sir. <laughs> we're old enough to both remember that. <laughs> Guys in the chat that don't know what we're talking about, just Google it. It was great. Avoid oh, yeah. The North. Dominos, yeah. Yes. So um, you can look that up. But you don't have that many voids. Like, I don't understand how you sometimes are writing tickets and then voiding them, creating a handle number that's not really a number. <laughs> you could you could write a ticket for 100000 and then void it. And it, it counts goes as, in as a written ticket for a hundred thousand. <laughs> if you report the numbers a certain way, what the what the fuck is that? I don't know. It's crazy. It's just so. Just FYI as to where we are here with Ohio. It's the, the, the numbers. Way,